Hey guys, Dan here. First of all, Happy New Year and thanks for all the great support in 2020. Uh, today's video is about triple screens and how to use a triple screen setup without using Nvidia Surround. Whether you don't like Surround or if you can't use it, whatever. You can you can easily use iRacing, ACC, R Factor 2, most of the racing games without using Surround. I'll show you how to set it up in these three games and also show you an easy way how to get the angle between the screens. Okay, so on iRacing it's pretty easy. All you need to make sure is first uh, check that you're in windowed borderless mode. So this needs to be unchecked and this needs to be unchecked. All right, then you go to your documents folder, you search for the iRacing folder, and then there's a file called app ini. Just open that in a text editor of your choice. And then you want to scroll down until you are at graphics DX11. And these are the important lines you need here, windowed height, windowed width, and windowed X position. So windowed height is the vertical resolution of your monitor. So for 1080p monitors, this would be 1080p. For 1440p, it would obviously be 1440p. Windowed width is the horizontal resolution times three. So 7,680 for 1440p monitors or 5,760 for 1080p monitors. And windowed X position needs to be offset by the um, horizontal resolution of your monitor. So 2560 for 1440p or 1920 for 1080p. And what you also need to make sure is that your central monitor is the main monitor. So a tool that I use to set up my, my monitors is Display Fusion. can highly recommend it, but you can do exactly the same just with the NVIDIA control panel or with the Windows um, display options. So here on the NVIDIA options, you go to set up multiple displays and make sure that the central monitor is the primary display. And that's basically it. After you set this up for 1080p or 1440p, you can also do the same for triple 4K, but who uses that? <laughs> Um, and then when you start iRacing, the window will be on all three screens. I leave the app ini files for 1080p and for 1440p in the description below. You can just download them and replace them here in your documents folder. But like I said, I mean, editing the file is not really an issue. I made some presets, for example, here, app S, app T. This is for single screen. This is for triple screen. For example, when I take my screenshots, I always go to single screen. That's why I just have, um, several presets there. All right, as you can see in the bottom left camera now, uh, the image is on all three screens. And for FOV, I would not use any online FOV calculator or anything. All sim racing games basically give you an FOV calculator in here. So what you need is the monitor width, including bezel, visible width, excluding bezel, the viewing distance, and then the angle between center and side screens. So you can either use something like a protractor or I show you an easy way how to calculate it. But let's get the measurements first. So the monitor width, including bezels, is 710 millimeters. And without it, it's about 690. You want to measure the distance between the edges of the two screens. So from this point, to this point. I hope you can see that properly in the video. And using a little math, you can then easily... So this is... It, it doesn't have to be super, super precise. This is approximately 121 centimeters. So let's put it in here, 121 centimeters. Oh, we need another measurement and that is the distance to the screen. So be careful with that. Don't smash the... Uh, the tool into into the monitor so from here to your eyes so this is approximately 690 millimeters as well so distant di i can't type 690 and then you just enter these values in here so you can see um this is actually a little bit wrong here monitor width including bezels are the 710 we measured width is 690 viewing distance is wrong then please Okay, and now the angle, you can, like I said, you can use a protractor, this is a bit inaccurate, or you use this measurement, 1,210. One and what you want to do is just go to Google, enter triangle calculator, and you need a tool like this here. So side B would be the central monitor, side A would be the monitor to the side, and side C is this distance we measured. 
So B and A are 710. That is the, the width with bezels. And side C was, what did we measure? 1,210 millimeters. And then you click Calculate. And as you can see, this already looks more like the monitors. And it gives you an angle of 116.8. This is the angle between this screen and this screen. And for whatever reason, every sim racing game always wants like one, 180 minus this. So this would be approximately 63 degrees between the two monitors. Enter in the calculator. 63. Done. Yeah, we don't need the controls. And then you have uh, perfectly set up monitors using just the iRacing in-game FOV calculator. All right, let's move to ACC. On ACC, it's the same thing. You need to run windowed borderless mode. So when you start the game, you can see in the bottom left camera, it only starts on the central screen. Central? Center screen? Central? Well, you know what I mean. Okay, then you go to options, video, and make sure you are not running full screen. So full screen needs to be disabled. You can ignore this resolution thing. And for ACC, it's not as easy as on iRacing. You need an external tool for it. It's called Simple Runtime Window Editor. Link is in the description below. So go to this website, go to the releases tab and just download the latest release. Here this SRWE235. You don't need the profiles because there are no profiles in there that we can use. Then just unzip the zip, unzip the zip yeah, um, to a folder of your choice. Run the SRWE.exe. And then you are presented with this window. So go to select running application. And then click on the Assetto Corsa 2 uh, shipping, blah, blah, blah. Click on open. And then we basically are going to maximize this window onto all three screens. So for 1440p monitors, what you want to put in there on X is minus 2568. Let's enter this in here. Click on set. The window moved to the left side, you can't see it in the capture. But we make the uh, width bigger now. Click on set. Now it's back. You can see it's already on, on the three screens. Um, y is correct. Width is height is correct. And once you have these values in here, all you do is click on AC2 and then save profile and go to the folder where you unzipped it and just call it ACC. And that's it. You have ACC in triple screens. So make sure triple screen rendering is enabled. It's the case here. Go into a session. Enjoy the loading times of ACC. That takes like 1% of the loading times of iRacing. And then you click on Drive, Escape, View Settings. And if you correctly enable the triple rendering, you will see the triple screen stuff here. So distance from screen, that was 690 millimeters. Screen width, I'm actually not sure if this is the, uh, the width without bezels or with bezels, I guess with bezels. Bezel width was 10. Side screen, 10, yeah. Side screen angle was 63. And bam, that's it for ACC. As you can see in the uh, bottom left corner, ACC on triple screens. Oh, and what I nearly forgot to show you is when you go to ACC and you start it again, you don't have to input the values manually all the time. So once you save the profile, you just make sure you open your SRWE, select running application. This is what you have to do every time. And then you just click on load profile and load the ACC profile and then it's on triple screens. All right, R Factor 2. Um, you don't need an external tool for it. It's kind of similar to iRacing. You go to Steam to your stream Steam library, wherever that is. Could be a folder you generated or a C program files. Uh, just check in your Steam where that is. Uh, Steam library, Steam apps, common. Then go to the R Factor 2 folder. To the folder user data and then there is a file it's called config dx11.ini i will make some files in the description below for you to download for 1080p and 1440p open it in a text editor and then there are three things you need to change uh, windowed mode needs to be set to one 
I think it's default to zero, borderless to zero, and then you need to enter your resolution in custom vid res. So that's either 7680 by 1440p or it's 5760 by 1080p. And if you change these three lines, it should just boot up on all three screens. Again, you need to make sure the center monitor is the main monitor. I've read guides online that you have to create custom resolutions in the NVIDIA control panel. That never really worked for me. Everything just went black and all I could do is restart the PC. But once you have these three lines changed, R Factor just starts across all three screens. No issues for me. And once you're in the game, R Factor has an uh, FOV calculator as well. So click on the gear icon. Go to graphics. You will see you do not do not get the multi-view option here. You need to change the resolution to the resolution you just created. So 7680 7, by 1440. Click on apply. Wait a little bit. Then confirm. And then you can also enable the multi-view here. And then you get this FOV calculator. So again, width is, I guess, can you actually... No, the width. Width bezels. So hold your mouse. Go make a coffee. Drink a tea, make dinner. There we go, 710. Eye distance was 690. It's pretty cool to have this animation here. More games should have it. I just wish you could enter the value directly, but you can't. Uh, bezel gap is, I guess, the gap between the visible parts of the monitor, so two times the actual bezel. So it should be around 20. Side. Okay. I can go make another coffee. Yeah, great. But you can see how the angle of the screens changes in that graphic. I mean, are they actually serious and I have to like... Yeah, they are. So once you're done holding this button for an hour, you can actually play the game. 63, there we are. I still don't understand why they always want this angle here and not this angle. Because this is clearly more than 90 degrees. That was the 117. And here is the actual 63. But okay, at least it's the same on every sim. So click apply, confirm, and then you can just play triple screens on R Factor 2 without using Nvidia Surround. I'm not sure if it works with Race Room, but. Uh, Check the config files, check the SRWE tool, if it works with that. SRWE, yeah. And, but it, it, I, I got every game I tried running without surround. Sometimes it's a little bit of fiddling around, especially ACC, you need to launch that tool every time, but could be worse. At least we got triple screen support, not using surround, but yeah. That's it for this video, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm streaming live on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes Monday. Sometimes not. <laughs> uh, link in the description below or leave questions in the comments if it works, if it doesn't work, if you have an easier way for, for other games maybe. And if you liked the video, click the thumbs up, maybe subscribe to the channel. But that's it for today's video. See you on the next one. Bye bye.